Hi. In this very first video we are going to compare the print quality between the original Prusa i3 Mark II and the Ultimaker 3. So let's get started. So in the last few days I've been printing two of the same models on both printers. Within this video we are going to look at these four prints separately and after that we are going to compare the different prints. First of all, all information regarding the used models, the prints and photos of the prints can be found in 3dprintingstuff.net. For all prints I have used the current stable version of the provided slicer with the default profile. For the two models I used a different layer height. The first print we have is a low poly Pikachu. This model is printed in 100 micron layer height on both printers. On the Ultimaker 3 this compares to the normal quality, while at the Prusa i3 Mark II this is the detailed quality. The total print time on the Ultimaker was 2 hours, on the Prusa i3 it was 3.5 hours. The second print we have is a self-made low poly cube. This model is based on the low poly cube from Makers Muse. The print has been printed in 150 micron layer height. This is the fast print quality on an Ultimaker 3 and an optimal quality on the Prusa i3 Mark II. This model is specially made for face mode so this has been enabled. I have also set the bottom layers in both slices to 1. All other settings are left to the default. The total print time on the Ultimaker was around 1 hour and 45 minutes. On the Prusa i3 it was nearly 3 hours. Now that we have all prints together, let's have a look. If you want to compare the high quality photos yourself, please see the link in the video description with all information. So let's have a look at the Pikachu first. In general, they pretty much look the same. The one printed on the Prusa i3 has a bit more layer lines. However, it looks like this is actually caused by the PLA I used. I tried printing the same model on a different higher quality PLA and it looks much better. The print from the Ultimaker looks pretty bad under the chin. It seems the Ultimaker wasn't able to handle the overhang here really well. It also didn't print the ear really nicely. It looks like the default settings for the Ultimaker are a bit too fast for the Pikachu. If you put them side by side, you see a small difference, mainly in the ears and under the chin as expected. The rest of the Pikachu is pretty much the same. Now let's have a look at the low pulley cube. The first thing we notice on the print from the Prusa are again the layer lines. As with the previous print is probably because caused by the PLA I used. However, in general I don't think the layer lines are too bad on this specific model. The corners in general are really nice and sharp. The only thing that is a bit off is the top of the print. The print from the Ultimaker looks pretty much the same. The real difference is that one of the corners is not as nicely printed as the other corners. This is caused by the slicer and not by the actual printer itself. With the Prusa, the slicer raises the z-axis continuously. This will give a nice effect on the print. The Ultimaker however raises the z just like with a normal print on one point only. This causes a bit of bump at the spots where the printer goes to the next layer. Now I've seen all results, we can say that one of the two printers is actually better or worse as the other one. Both printers have really great print quality, and both printers depend on third party software or materials to print very well. The prints from the Prusa clearly show a bit of layer lines. However, when I compare the same print with a different PLA, they are not as visible as with this cheap PLA. The low poly cube on the Ultimaker is clearly worse than the print from the Prusa. But this is not actually caused by the printer, but more on how the model was sliced. If I would have set up the proper speed and settings for the Pikachu on the Ultimaker, I would have gotten a much better result as I got it now. So at the end, in the end I don't think there is a real question on if an Ultimaker prints better or worse as a Prusa i3 Mark II. Both princes have great print quality, however its quality also depends on the used material, used slicer and used settings. These parameters are more important to tweak to get the best print for the specific model. Both printers are a great printer with a lot of options. In general, however, I think the Ultimaker is used for something completely different as the Prusa i3. And you should not really compare them. Thanks for watching, and see you the next time.